no matter how hard you think it is to shoot macro photography, handheld, multiply it by a hundred because it is hard. I went out recently with my Canon R6 Mark II and my RF 100 millimeter macro lens. This is a super sharp, super great, wonderful lens that I have yet to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> I have my flash on and I set my flash to 1 16th power. I've got a little diffuser here that I've had for years. I had to go through my closet to find it because I haven't used it in forever. And I went to a couple of places. So first of all, I went down to the riverfront down by the Chickamauga Dam thinking that I would find some uh, wildflowers or something. There's no wildflowers in the section that I walked. What I did find, however, was um, plenty of walls. So as you're walking down the path, there's the water on, on one side, and you come across walls on the other, and the walls across the top have moss. And there are, there are little fingers of things sort of sticking up out of that. And so I thought, well, I was just practicing. I, I was hoping to find some insects or, you know, little creepy crawly things, some moths, some butterflies, dragonflies, something. There was nothing. And so I decided that I would shoot some of these things along the wall because getting really up close and personal, you see things through the lens that you don't see when you just look at things. So as I'm showing some of these pictures here that I took, you'll see that there are little fine hairs of things in there that you don't notice. There are uh, little pieces of spider's web sort of left hanging from the night as the dew is coming off of the moss. And these are things that even when you're up close looking at them, you don't really notice. It's not until you get really, really close with this macro lens that you see the kinds of things that are actually there. And it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So the next day I went to the Reflection Riding Arboretum because I know there is a pond there close to the uh, building that you walk into and there's a, a wildflower garden in the back. And I wasn't sure if the, um, the, the wooden trail uh, back to the treehouse and beyond was repaired yet or not. Part of it was. And I have seen things in all of those areas. I've seen different kinds of bugs there, especially dragonflies. And I did see some dragonflies, but they were they would just not land and sit still. I could not, <laughs> for the life of me, find one long enough to focus. And so in this particular area, at the, at the riverfront, I was shooting... Um, with automatic focus because I didn't have anything moving and it was just kind of easier that way. And I had it set on high speed. So I was taking five or six shots because you know, I might move back and forth a little bit. And I was just hoping that something would wind up in that focal plane. When I went out to the reflection writing uh, space, I put everything in manual. So I was on one 250th of a second. I had it on, uh, I started at F8. I went to F11. I set my ISO at 200 when I was in the direct sunlight with the flash. I set it on 400 if I was sort of in a shadow with the flash. That seemed to work pretty good. Um, and I did a manual focus. So I was looking through the viewfinder, trying to, trying to hold the camera as tight to me as possible to keep the shake down. Looking through the viewfinder and adjusting the, the focus ring until those little uh, arrows kind of came together to form green, and then I would fire off five or six shots. But even there, other than the dragonflies that wouldn't land, there was nothing. All the wildflowers had died, so there was nothing fly flying around and trying to feed off of them. 
I used to see like centipedes and millipedes out on the the boardwalk going out to the treehouse. That was because half of it's new wood now. There's nothing there. Um, like I said, the dragonflies wouldn't land long enough to take a picture. So I was just kind of left practicing focus to see what I could do. And, and then it was like, okay, well, you know, I will try again <laughs> to, to, um, to find some insects. That's really what I was going for was insects. And so I went out to the Volkswagen park in Ottawa and drove around to a space where there was plenty of flowers along the side of the road. Um, and I walked out there and I could, I had, I had bugs, I had insects, I had flying creepy crawly things, but they would not land anywhere close to me. They were at least six or seven feet away from me. And I mean, I could find them in the viewfinder and I could snap a picture, but I, then I'm just taking a picture and blowing it up. So there was a wash. And that rained me out. I, I was there for maybe 20 minutes and it started raining and I had to come home. So then I went outside and, and just took some pictures of some of the flowers in our yard, which is probably where I should have started anyway. Um, but through it all, I was never really able to find the insects that I wanted, but I was just practicing with the 100 millimeter manual focus. And when you're, and even at F, eight or F11, when you're in macro, your focal plane is, it's, you know, a sliver. So you can't just take one shot. You've got to take multiple shots. And then you've just got to pray to the photography gods that something in the right spot passed through that plane because it's so easy to miss it entirely. And I came back with, you know, the shots that I've shown throughout this video um, that I was, you know, sort of halfway pleased with, but it took a lot of work and effort just to find these that would work and that could be edited to, to be worth looking at. I'm not going to give up, but macro photography, if, if I'm doing macro photography, I want a tripod, I want something sitting still. <laughs> I want to do the autofocus bracketing inside the camera. I want to I want to let the camera do all the work for me. This thing of going out and having to do the work yourself, I'm retired. I don't want to do the work myself anymore. So, uh, anyway, I will go out and practice some more, and we'll look at it again. But right now, my gosh, this is hard. We'll see you next time.